If you like eating pomegranate seeds, I've got a TikTok try for you today. try something I saw on TikTok today. TikTok? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you are new here, my name is Emily. This is my daughter, Aubrey. Welcome to my motherhood channel no. where we take care of all things mom. Yes. No. Yes. No. I saw like a pomegranate de-seeding hack video on TikTok and thought I would give it a try and bring you guys along with me. Uh, the girl said, in addition to your pomegranate, you're going to want like a bowl of ice water, a wooden spoon, or it could just be probably any spoon, honestly, based on the hack, and then a knife. So the first thing that she said was cut a line around the entire pomegranate, just through the outer layer of the skin. Obviously, you're not going to cut straight through all of the seeds. So let's go ahead and do that now. Are you excited? No. <laughs> She actually does like pomegranates. So now that the top has been cut, we're gonna just kind of peel it back over the bowl of water. So in case any seeds fall out, they go right in there. I think this guy's very ripe. And something I find interesting whenever I see like pomegranate peeling videos, they always have their sections like super easily divided. And all the ones that I ever get from people's like backyards where they're giving them away, which is how we got this one, they're all like so many different sections, never like the ones in commercials or whatever. So I don't know if that's just maybe more like genetically modified. I don't know. I'm gonna love you, mommy. I love you too. Now we have this guy cut up and we can see kind of where these little veins go. We're gonna cut along that line down to the bottom and just kind of separate this into chunks. So. Let's give that a try. Again, we're not gonna cut all the way through. We're just gonna cut through this like skin layer, which is about a quarter of an inch thick. So you don't wanna go much deeper than that. Now stand back a little bit so Kama can see you, mommy. I have to scoot back so the camera can see me. All right, so I've tried to cut through this whole way and now I'm gonna just kind of peel this back. and expose all these little craters of seeds. And we're gonna drop these chunks into the ice bath. And we're gonna let this soak, I forget exactly how long she said, but probably just for a couple minutes. Okay, it's been about two or three minutes. I think that's at least the minimum of what she said. Maybe she said five. But the point of soaking these guys in the ice water was to kind of like help shrink the membrane or maybe shrink the seeds a little bit so that they'll more easily remove from the membrane layers. So once you do that, she said, you take your little spoon and hit the back. And you can see some of the seeds are just falling right off and falling all over my table. So maybe I needed a bigger bowl, but this seems to be working out pretty well. I'm gonna peel back some of this extra membrane that's blocking some of the seeds. Yes, can you please pick up the seeds? Thank you. Um, I'm just trying to make sure they're not going. <laughs> Thank you for helping find the seeds. Um, I'm not hitting it as hard probably as I would if I had a bigger bowl and more space to catch all of this, but they are coming off a little bit easier. So let me do the rest of these. So overall, I do think this took a lot less time than peeling like each little seed out of the membrane by hand. Um, but it, I don't know, it wasn't like overly easy for me. There are little pieces of membrane that came off in the water, but um, you know, I got a good number of seeds from this pomegranate. You know, some of the seeds like still have a little bit of membrane where it was attached. And that was one thing that the girl was like, oh, this doesn't happen. So maybe this one was one I did by hand. I really don't know. But I'm going to go and like try to rinse out the water and maybe just give this another 
good little rinse to get all the little membrane pieces out of there and kind of filtered out and then we'll be left with a bunch of pomegranate seeds. Okay, so in summary, again, I do think this went a lot quicker than I normally would. Normally what I would do is I would, again, kind of cut a little area off the top, cut down the veins. So like all of that remained the same, I'd break it apart and I would just not use the ice water normally. And I wouldn't use a spoon. I would just kind of like peel it off with my hands. And in some ways I find that therapeutic. I may incorporate the ice water still in the future because I do think that they kind of fell off a little bit easier that way. I don't know if I'm gonna do the spoon. I feel like that might, it just was a little bit too messy for me with seeds flying everywhere. <laughs> but, um, you know, I can kind of have my therapy of removing each seed or in a group of seeds with my hands um, and have them fall into the ice water. But now I have a whole bunch of pomegranate seeds which we can snack on. Aubrey actually really likes them, Juan loves them. I sometimes uh, eat the seeds by themselves, but what I do do sometimes is put a whole bunch of the seeds in like a Ziploc bag and just kind of pop all of them and get all the juice out and then I'll take like the juice as a shot. So that is something that I do. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you give this a try and you find that it's easier than your method of peeling a pomegranate and getting the seeds out, let me know. Um, again, I'm gonna be taking a component from this TikTok try and probably incorporating it in the future. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I have a whole playlist on TikTok tries that I've done in the past, but I also take care of a lot of motherhood content. I have a baby on the way and we're moving to a new build shortly after baby Jack has arrived. So there's a lot of changes and a lot of possible like or future organizational videos and moving videos and pregnancy updates and all of that stuff coming up. But I'm excited to have you guys here and I'm excited for you guys to see all that I have to show you in the coming months. So I will catch you in the next one. made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.